I've got a few jobs on hold because I'm waiting for this or that to come or I need to know this before I can do that and that's often the way um, so I've moved on to I hate I hate to start, keep stopping jobs it's not efficient but I'm better to keep working than it is to uh, just stop and wait so moved on to the furniture board using a 15 mil lightweight furniture panel we're going to pocket hole screw and glue this um, Right now, I'm just finalising the design for some covers I'm going to make for the front of the truck. Storage is vitally important. So when designing your truck, storage space is obviously critical, the more the better. But don't forget to add space. What I mean by that is room, you, you want your truck to feel airy and light, and if you chuck in loads of storage, fill up every, every bit of space you can, you can feel quite claustrophobic. So allow room in your designs for open space. Um, you can do that simply, that doesn't mean not having cupboards, it can do. It could mean instead of having that cupboard come all the way out here, just drop it back just to give you that, create that space around your eye line, around your head. Um, it makes a big difference to how your truck will feel. <laughs> The saw blade in this, we're going for a nice fine tooth. This is a 62 teeth blade. Um, you know, there's two faces to this grey and white. We want the white face to be the good one. Um, so this rotates this way, teeth going cutting down. So we want the white side up so the blade cuts into the good side so it's not going to chip off the laminate. <laughs> So I've started building this cabinet. I'm using a quick pocket hole jig here with pocket hole screws. And at the moment I'm just screwing this together but I will disassemble it when I'm happy. And I'm gonna bond with the joints using tight bond, which is a melamine wood glue. If you just use PVA, it's not gonna to stick to the melamine. Continuing on with the same cupboard along the front face of the truck. Um, because of where I'm putting the power unit, now if you're looking in the front of the truck, looking forward, I've got a power unit down here. And I need to get power to this side of the wall and then down. So in this cupboard, we've put this. This is the top of the cupboard, the cupboard's upside down. Um, it's like a trunk in, and there's a face. Uh, removable space that screws on. Screwed it in both ends. But I want to add a bit of support to this because obviously when this front face is not on this it's not going to be so stiff. So so I'm going to use a bit of aluminium sheet, a bit of female sheet, just as a, a strap there to add some support just to stiffen this up when the when I'm working on it I don't want it flexing around. So I was going to mark this up um, just route three mil deep and screw that in there and that's going to stiffen that up nicely. So I'm going to use a trim router, it's going to set that to about three mil. And we're going to do it by hand because accuracy is not vital. So just a couple of screws in there. Um, going to have to count sink screws, obviously. This is the back wall of the truck. 
Well, the front wheel's drunk, but it all needs to be flush, which is why I sunk this in. Lovely, so that's now going to be nice and stiff. So that's that done. So that's the cupboard. Um, half of this cupboard will actually be hidden because we've got another cupboard coming out here. So we have one cupboard door on that. This is up the top, this trunk in, put the cables in so we're not going to waste the, the majority of the usable space is obviously on this shelf. Next, we're going to put a nice big hole in here. So I said let's run through here. Nice big hole to pull the cables through. As big as we can go. So 65, 65 through there. Or we could just cut out a square. We have the hole saw. So we have a nice Nice hole now for uh, all that cables to come through. I'm using Bosch, maybe it's called Bosch Power Drive. These Bosch um, house saws, they're brilliant. P power change, they call it. So often with a house saw, you have to unscrew the hole saw from the arbor. Um, and you have to use these holes to Get a screwdriver and prise out the bit, you, the core you've just cut out, and your bits in the way, and these power change bits done. And with that, the drill bit out, this core bit often comes out much easier. And I can just switch as easy as that. So I really like these um, Bosch. You can get almost every size you want in, in this, this set, um, and the set. This, this, I bought a big set, you can buy these individually. And this set comes with a space to add more hole saws. So a really nice little thing. I think I paid about £80 for it. Always get a plan. Um, sometimes you can't get your drill in the location you need, and you have to find other ways to get stuff fixed. And start to see what I'm trying to achieve now. So this is the back of the cupboard. There's the hole I drilled for the cables come through here, and then they come down here. I've put a big hole down here, and then go down the wall. Now, as I've come around this corner, I've made a little bit more space. And I've filed off because this, the laminate is kind of getting a sharp edge to it. I've just filed it off and rounded this edge just to prevent any cable chafing going on. And the cables will be fixed in here. I'll be mounting some little, um, little holders and they'll be zip tied up for long. Um, I'll probably separate them into 240 volt and the 12 volt, 24 volt, that maybe. of the drawer unit. Now I'm making the kitchen separate units but it's going to be different from 
like an IKEA or a B&Q or kind of a, kit, a pre-made self-assembly kitchen in that it's going to make better use of space and it won't be so heavy so for a start we're using a lightweight ply um, chipboard which is normally how, where, what kitchens are made of is very heavy and also with a shop board kitchen each cabinet has an upright and we can actually share uprights it, um, <coughs> it will mean adding a piece of material on the edge to for hinges etc but we don't need to double up on the upright structures so we can certainly save a lot of weight by building this ourselves I'm just building the draw unit um, it's putting some supports in each corner um, obviously you know, have the worktop on one, one end which will add lots of strength um, all these cabinets will be screwed into the wall of the truck as well as being glued as well to the floor so they'll be nice and strong and lightweight all these joints are pocket screwed and glued I mentioned a, a melamine wood glue previously now that's arrived it's called tight bond um, I've not used it before actually I did plan on doing some food tests before I start this so I'll do that in a minute but it is sold for doing this so I'm sure it's perfectly good for its use but I'll do some glue tests just to show you guys and I'm sure interested to know how good it is so I'm going to do a little glue test now obviously this is designed it doesn't say melamine to melamine it says um, Melamine wood glue is what it's called. Um, but we're going to do a little test. going to do a melamine to melamine. I'm just using a bit of scrap. I've put that on. That's how much glue I've put on. I'll stick those together. Um, I'm going to put them in a clamp, but I'm going to clamp them lightly because I'm trying to try and simulate real world conditions. And we'll do a little test of melamine to wood. So another bit of scrap, just a bit of glue, a bit of pine. It's gonna lightly clamp those together as well and we'll see how they turn out. Doing a really nice job keeping it lightweight because if it's going in a vehicle, every bit of weight you carry around is costing you money from fuel and costing the environment. Now, obviously, when you start getting into bigger trucks, the fuel efficiencies kind of improve. That might sound like a strange thing to say, but carrying extra 100 kilos, you won't notice it on that on fuel. And an extra ton, you probably won't notice. But you are burning fuel. Energy isn't free. Yeah, that energy has to come from somewhere, so you're burning fuel. So keeping yourself as light as possible um, is certainly better for your for the environment and for your pocket. 